Hello Gemini, welcome to your monthly reading for April 2019. It's a pleasure to read for you guys once again. So as you can see, I've laid out all of the cards, so all of that is done and ready to go. Just before we start, I just want to mention that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Also, this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Gemini. Also, remember that the future isn't fixed. So this reading is like a guidepost for you for the month of April. So let's see what energy spirit would like to bring through for you, for you to become aware of this month in April. Now for any personal questions, you will need a personal reading. So you can visit my website, katietarot.com and all the details and information will be on there. So let's take a look Gemini at the month ahead. Let's see what April energies are around you. So let's take a look at where you are currently Gemini. So we have the Empress reversed. The first thing that came to mind Gemini is that you have a female around you and maybe your mother. This is the mother card and maybe a mothering energy or someone who's meant to be nurturing and helpful and supportive but they're not being that way. This may mean that you're not feeling very nurturing about something in your life as well. It can be vice versa. So you can change up the energies to fit your scenario, Gemini. But whatever the case is, this energy is saying it's not really nurturing. The energy is not really growing the way that you want to. There's a sense here of um, there being a harsher type of maternal energy or uh, growth and beauty and free-flowing energy is difficult at the present time. So with that in mind, Gemini, let's take a look at a clarifying card. And we have the hand. And this says, in need of help, assistance and guidance. So Gemini, this month you are in need of help, assistance and guidance in some way because something isn't getting off the ground. Something isn't being nurtured to its full potential. This, of course, may be another person in your life that needs help, assistance and guidance and you're the one who's going to be giving a helping hand. So this is interesting. Let's take a look at some additional information about what's going on here, Gemini. All right, so we have the three of Wands, three of wands reversed. So the three of wands is about expansion. And with the wand energy, it really speaks to having what energy you've put out come back toward you. So you're really looking out and beyond your current circumstances and you're looking to how things that are really great, things that you have worked upon come back towards you. So it's like a reward. It's like recognizing that your ships are going to come in. Because this is reverse Gemini, there is a sense here of it, not, of it being more difficult or being more challenging for you to see the rewards or see the benefit come towards you because the effort that you have put in so far doesn't seem to be paying off in rewards at the current time. It doesn't mean it's not going to pay off in the future, just at the current time, it's challenging for you to see this. And that may be why you are in need of some guidance. Let's take a look at this card here. Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Okay, so stick with this, stick with whatever this is, Gemini. Don't be tempted to lower your standards or go outside of your morals, your values, what you hold dear to yourself. Don't let yourself be put into a box. Don't let yourself be held back by expectations. You may not have reached the destination yet or start to see the benefits of your efforts yet, but they are going to come through. There's a possibility that you will start to see good things soon in April. So don't give up and don't lower your standards in any kind of way. Let's take a look at the foundation, Gemini. What's going on here? Okay, so the foundation is the four of wands. So the four of wands is a great energy. 
It's about celebration, harmony. It's about um, family and commitments and being solid, solid in your ventures. See how we have the three of ones where you are currently, even though you're not getting the reward or getting the payback that you're hoping at the moment. The underlying energy is saying that it's going to grow to be solid because the three of ones and then the four of ones indicates that progression. So don't give up. Keep hanging in there. Keep persisting and nurturing this relationship, this venture, whatever this is, and you'll start to see a benefit, um, a harmony, a solidity in this area of your life desk pay attention to your work this may be work related for some of you because obviously it does mention work in this card but also the wands can indicate career and passions and your hobbies that you really put effort into anything really that you put effort into so the foundation here is that you've put in efforts and if you continue to to pay attention to your work, whatever that is for you. It could be a relationship, working on a relationship, romantic or otherwise. Then you're going to get a good outcome. There's solidity here. The foundation is good. Let's take a look at your recent past, Gemini. We have the Emperor. So there may be an Aries around you in some way or another. This, this Emperor energy... I feel I'm getting two messages here. The first message is that this Aries energy represents you in the recent past, Gemini. So you've been very much on the ball. You have been in control, in command, very centered and quite fair about things. Very grounded. This is a father figure as well. So there may be a fatherly, paternal influence going on here in your recent past. Someone who has authority in some way, if it's not you. So... It's been fairly solid. Whatever's happened in the past seemed to be on solid ground because we have the four of the emperor here. And we've also got the four of wands as the foundation. So two fours indicate that whatever's going on is built on solid ground. And the additional information is bowl. Plenty of material things. Well, that is another energy of the emperor very much abundant and in control of his domain material things so there is some material things that you have gained this may be in work or in relationships whatever this is for you personally there's real tangible things that have been happening around you in your recent past you have your bowl full of wonderful fruits and enjoyable things and you've made this happen you have you know you are the emperor to do with this so you've really created this there's an empowered energy in your past so that's really fantastic let's take a look at the advice from spirit what you need to look for a device let's take a look okay so we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is a strong movement card. So advice is to stay strong in your resolve. Whatever this is for you, Gemini, you need to maintain your passion, your enthusiasm and your momentum. So you have to keep on moving with this. Don't sit still with it. There may be a fire sign around you. It may be that Aries. There was coming in here with the Emperor that you need to deal with, communicate with, have in your life. And the additional information here is funnel. Period of frustration, lessons to be learned with this person, with movement, because at the present time I can see with those first two cards that there is some kind of assistance or help that's needed. So this knight of wands energy i feel is the person that you need to turn to or that will assist you in the month of april because there is some kind of frustration or some delay or 
more information that you need before you can fully move into the energy that you want to do with this. So that's important for you, Gemini. And let's take a look at the immediate future for you. What's coming up energetically in April for Gemini? And we have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is, as you can see, kind of pushing up against lots of things. So you're almost at the finish line. You're almost home. You're almost into the next phase of something. So this really speaks of you persisting and not giving up. Sometimes you need to take a rest. Sometimes you need to have assistance or um, they're showing me this card. So that help, assistance or guidance, you may need that in some form to get um, over this last hurdle, over this last hump to get to the completion of a certain thing. Hat, you will be playing a different role. Okay, so there's some kind of change that's going to happen throughout the month of April for you. You're going to be playing some kind of different role and it may be challenging here. You may have a lot on your plate. You may feel burdened. You may have a lot of responsibility that you need help with. Okay. So you may be not playing one role, but several different roles now in your life. And that may be overwhelming in some way. So spirit is bringing this through to say, hey, lift your head up, see exactly what needs to be done and take on only the responsibility that you need to perhaps you need to delegate out to other people so there's a change of roles here there's a change of scenario that is happening and because of this it may be difficult for you to see how you can move ahead and that's how you're going to um, and that's where this this person this assistance comes in in some way okay so very interesting energy Gemini for the month of April in the extended reading I'm going to go through these energies here so we're going to take a look at the challenges that are going to come up in April for you we're going to look at outside circumstances and people that are affecting you in April we're going to take a look at action that you can take so you can be proactive in April and the outcome as well the energies of April as a whole and see what comes through there so I'd love to see you over in the extended reading I will put the link in the description box below I hope you all have a wonderful month ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon